Hey guys, it's Randmax Gaming here with another tutorial, and today it'll be windmills. And I'll just show you the crafting recipe here first. All you really need is a generator. Oh, you just need a generator and then four carbon plates. And I think for all four, it's about half a stack of coal for the plates there. All right, so over here, as you can see, I put a glass cube around this, and with windmills. Every block within this glass cube, which is about four high, four wide, or four higher than the block and four wider, and then also two below, will actually reduce its height by one. So it'll ge generate a lot less power the more blocks you have in this range. So most people will just do like a tower of windmills and wire, and I'll show you that in a bit. It's also a nine by nine by seven, but it's actually one lower than that. For some reason, I guess wind is there's more wind up higher. I don't really know. Alright, so this is basically the tower-like design. People will start from a mountain or fairly low on the ground. As you can see, there's just ultra-low current cable here, which is just three tin ingots because it's the cheapest. And so I only have them up to about 149 because that's the safe height, where there's no chance of them ever blowing up in like a lightning storm or anything, so use those and this wire can handle up to 5 EU per tick so unless one of these is really high the wire is not going to melt and I believe the entire cable holds about 20 EU per tick for about 6 of these and then we have the low voltage transformer here and when you apply a redstone current all these single dots it will take in the low voltage power and at the 3 side it will turn into medium voltage and the reason you want to do that is those can handle 5 EU per tick and they don't lose very much. But when you get down there, you can't really use ultra low cables to get it down to the ground. It'll lose way too much power. And so you send it in packets of 512 EU per tick. And then you just send it down the glass fiber cable and it barely loses anything at all. They actually recommend high voltage, but if you're early on in the game and you don't have many resources for MFSUs or high voltage transformers then you know. Alright so I'm going to turn this on. As you can see that does not handle the current. So right now with the redstone current applied all of these are setting up packets of 512 EU per tick. And we'll just go down here. And as you can see I just made an MFE because it's probably one of the cheapest things you'll make early on in the game. I put two of them here because they don't store that much. As you can see, it's actually a fairly good amount of power here for a few windmills up there. And what a lot of people do is they build like a little sky base or something, or they'll just build a massive array of windmills. And so that's a pretty simple way to get a nice little power supply going there if you don't want to make a nether pump or something. And if you want to build these higher to generate more power, you can actually do a few things to just make sure they're in a safe distance. A lot of people put extra blocks here just to make them less efficient, basically. But then they have no risk of blowing up or very, very little risk. And I'll probably leave a formula for that in the description or just the link to the wiki. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button.